South Africa, officially known as the Republic of South Africa, offers a great introduction to the many jewels of the dark continent. Located on the southernmost tip of Africa, South Africa has so many amazing experiences on offer, from off-roading on a safari, to diving with great white sharks. With its wonderful array of wildlife, beautiful beaches, divine vineyards, and magnificent mountains, there's no doubt that this is a land of diversity. We made a list of top 10 best places to travel South Africa in 2020. Number 1 is Cape Town. For people who love to explore the city life of new places, Cape Town will prove to be an absolute dream for you. Described by visitors as the planet's most breathtaking cities, Cape Town is one of the three capitals of South Africa. It is also the second most populous cities of South Africa. This is a multicultural city surrounded by nature all around. This place has got high peak rugged mountains to the turquoise colored sea. You can spot the penguins waddling on the golden beaches in the false bay and you can even get a sight of giant whales while strolling on the waterfront boardwalk. Also, Cape Town shelters a rich wildlife diversity and botanical wonders. Being an urbanized city, you can shop in some high-class malls and dine in some of the finest world-class exquisite restaurants. Number 2 is Kruger National Park. Kruger National Park is not just one of the best places to travel South Africa, but is also one of the most famous safari parks in the whole world. By sheltering 7,500 miles of mountains, tropical forests, and grasslands, it has become the world's largest natural reserves. Thus unquestionably, also the most favorite tourist spots in this country. The park flourishes a variety of flora and fauna, which are a treat to watch. You will get to see the big five here, which include elephants, leopard, lion, rhino and buffalo. There are countless different ways to explore. You can rent a car, and drive along the park's well-maintained roads, or sign up for a private game drive, and benefit from the knowledge of an experienced guide. Night drives, and walking safaris are also well worthwhile. In terms of accommodation, your options range from rustic campsites, to five-star lodges. Number 3 is Bloemfontein. Bloemfontein is one of the three national capitals of South Africa, and the capital of Free State. Bloemfontein means blooming fountain in Afrikaans and Dutch. Owing to the popular Rose Festival, that takes place here, this city is also known as the City of Roses. This seventh largest city in South Africa, has many cultural and historical tourist sites, and an abundance of scenic beauty. Bloemfontein has many interesting museums to visit, including the National Women's Monument, the National Museum and the Anglo-Boer War Museum. The Naval Hill Planetarium, which is the first digital planetarium in Africa, south of the Sahara. Number 4 is Drakensberg. The Drakensberg, is one of the most beautiful places to travel South Africa. Also known as the Dragon Mountains, this place is a popular destination among the tourists. It is the country's highest peak, and showcases the most jaw-dropping view, of the nearby places. There is also a Royal Natal National Park, which shelters a beautiful amphitheater, a source of many Africa's main rivers. This place is home to a rich diversity of wildlife, and over 800 species of flowers, adding more beauty to this place. You will come across gushing waterfalls, and crystal clear streams, surrounded by lush green greenery everywhere. It is a perfect place for those, who like to enjoy the beauty of nature, with a little bit of an adventure. Number 5 is Johannesburg. Johannesburg, also known as Joburg, is the largest city in South Africa by population, and a gateway for many travelers on safari. Named the City of Gold, for its rich deposits of the precious metal, it's also the economic engine, and vibrant heart of the country. Top historical attractions include, the Apartheid Museum, a poignant look at the oppression of apartheid, to the birth of democracy, Constitution Hill, and Gold Reef City, which traces the region's history, through mining-themed attractions. If Johannesburg is the heart of South Africa, the shanty towns of Soweto, 
are its soul. Guided tours of the townships often include a visit to the Mandela House, now a national monument. Number 6 is Durban. The cosmopolitan center of KwaZulu-Natal province, Durban, is known for its golden beaches, its tropical climate, and its rich Indian culture. Flavorful curry restaurants dominate the city's culinary scene, and after dark, an impressive array of bars and nightclubs await visitors. For the best view with your cocktail, head to Moyo at the end of Yushaka Pier. During the day, visitors embrace the perennial vacation atmosphere of Durban's Golden Mile, home to some of the most famous surf spots in South Africa. Shopping is another favorite pastime, whether you choose to explore the colorful stalls of Victoria Street Market, or to spend your money in upscale malls like, the Gateway Theatre of Shopping in Umshanga. Number 7 is Hermanus. Located 120 kilometers southeast of Cape Town, the seaside town of Hermanus, has earned itself a reputation, as the whale-watching capital of South Africa. Every year, migrating southern right whales pass, within a few hundred feet of the Hermanus shoreline, with many of them stopping to breed, and cabin the town's own Walker Bay. You can book a tour, with one of Hermanus' many whale-watching boats, or you can enjoy the whale's antics for free, from any of the lookout points along the cliff path. In the center of town, the restaurants that line scene at Gearing's Point, are a great place to sample gourmet cuisine, while keeping an eye out for passing cetaceans. The whale watching season lasts from July to November, but there are also plenty of other attractions, worth seeing in Hermanus year round. Number 8 is Cape Winelands. To the east of Cape Town lies the Cape Winelands, a spectacular region full of verdant mountains and fertile valleys. If you're a wine connoisseur, you'll be in your element in South Africa's extraordinary Cape Winelands. Visitors love the area for its astounding scenic beauty, for its culture, and for its world-famous vineyards. There are several distinct viticultural regions, the most popular of which include St. Tellenbosch, Franschhoek, Wellington, and Parle. Each one offers wine tasting tours, and an array of superb restaurants, most of which showcase the Western Cape's finest local produce. Number 9 is the Garden Route. Along the country's southeast coast, the Garden Route runs for about 200 kilometers through some of South Africa's most breathtaking coastal scenery. The route stretches along the Indian Ocean from Mosul Bay, in the Western Cape, to the Storms River, in the Eastern Cape. This popular driving route passes through rolling green hills, pretty coastal towns, lagoons, lakes, and coastal cliffs. Highlights of the route include, the charming town of Nizna, snuggled between dense forests, and a sparkling lagoon, the beautiful Garden Route National Park with its gorges, tidal pools, and thick forests, Oudshorn's ostrich farms, and Kango Caves, and the seal colony of the Robert Nature Reserve in Plettenberg Bay. Adventures along the way run the gamut, from elephant back rides, and whale watching trips, to bungee jumping, and tree canopy tours. Number 10 is Port Elizabeth. A little further southwest, along the eastern coast of South Africa, Port Elizabeth is a bustling city on Algoa Bay, known for its thriving port, numerous beaches, and the wild elephants, rhinos, and other big game living on wildlife reserves nearby. Encounter cheetahs, at the Kragakama Game Park, or explore maritime, and natural history at Bayworld, a kid-friendly museum dedicated to aquatic life. Tourists can also take private boat tours of Algoa Bay, where rare birds and whales are often seen enjoying the warm climate. Please like, share and subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell. Bye for now.